Everton boss Sean Dyche has given his pre-match press conference ahead of the Toffees trip to Leicester City on Saturday. What is turning into be a big game for both clubs at the bottom of the Premier League. The manager turned up with a list of players who are doubtful or missing for the game. This is uh, this is the list as given by Sean Dyche. I've bought a list just so I don't forget anyone. Uh, Jared's making progress. Uh, hopefully gets involved in a game this weekend. It's looking like he will do um, with the under-21s. James Tarkowski, sorry. Um, we're hopeful. Um, trained today, so there's no reaction. Uh, Nathan Patterson, same as Jared. Uh, Dominic Carver-Lewin looks OK today. He was back in on the grass, so we're hopeful that his uh, illness is gone. Uh, Jimmy Garner is still not in uh, with illness. Uh, Indrissa, unfortunately, has had a family bereavement, so he won't be um, here. Um, Miko is through the illness. He was in today, so we're hopeful that's um, him done. Um, Shames is still injured, unfortunately, going to be longer than we hoped, um, so that's not going to be a, a quick situation. We're not sure on the timescales yet. Youssef's making good um, progress, but obviously quite a long-term injury. Um, Armando, he's, he's making progress, but obviously a longer-term injury. And Kino... Um, he's getting checked out today, just having a precautionary scan to make sure he's OK. So we're hopeful on um, Miko being back around it. We're hopeful on Dominic. They, they came through today, so we're hopeful that's clear. Kino, we're waiting on news. Um, uh, Taki, we're hopeful. Trained today, but we've got to see there's no reaction. Um, so they're the main ones. Jay, uh, Jimmy's come, gone home uh, still unwell. And Jack Harrison, actually, I forgot to mention him. He's gone home unwell, but we're hopeful that's something out of nothing. So we'll wait and see out of them. But certainly we'd imagine that Dom and uh, Miko would be the two you immediately look at and hope that they're, they're back in the fold. The manager did say, and did confirm rather, that Jared Branthwaite and Nathan Patterson will play for the under-21 side. They are playing on Sunday in a game against Sunderland. It'll be really good news that uh, they're back in a game. Um, we'll obviously have to see how they react to that. He might want them to play a couple of games before they're considered back for first-team action. But I think the, the sooner we get those two players back in the first-team squad, the better. And obviously, we need Patterson fit. You know, he's just confirmed in that injury thing that Seamus Coleman's going to be longer than he hoped. Uh, and obviously, Ashley Young is covering everywhere else. So we need Patterson back and also Roman Dixon then them two can surely fight it out for that right-back spot. But we need Brantwaite back in as well. He hasn't been available at all so far this season. Uh, the manager was asked then a question about Everton finished the season OK last season. He put a, a few wins together to move away from any kind of danger near the end. Obviously lost to Arsenal, but they had a little bit of upward trajectory um, winning games. The manager was asked how or why he thought the club the team were unable to draw on that momentum and build it for a more positive start this season. This is what he had to say. Well, like I say, if you had the same team and the same people and you'd like to build on that and move it forwards, but we, we are what we are. You know, we had to sell players, we had to bring money in, we had to balance that out with money going out, we had to bring fresh players in and a younger style of player to try and build them for the future to safeguard the finances of the club. It's a different model, you know, so the summer bought a different, a different being, a different group, a different way of working. And then you add in a few injuries and all of a sudden you're a bit stretched and before you know it, you're into the season. So it's been a different dynamic. So it's almost, you know, it, rather than a continuation, it was a restart. Here we go again. This is a different model now. You know, we've got to bring costs down. We've got to balance out the books. We've got to bring money in and we've got to get players in who can develop into the club, not ones who maybe in the past have bought players at an age where un unlikely they move on for bigger money in the future. So the, the model has changed. Let's hope we can get some momentum going with a victory at the King Power on Saturday. Uh, another question the manager was asked was obviously some um, some booze the other night when he made the change with uh, with Ashley Young coming on for better. Obviously, the fans were frustrated at that stage. It was 1-1 in a cup tie at home and we took our centre forward off and put a right back on. Or sorry, put a player on to play full back. Um, he was asked about the fans, whether that concerns him. This is what the manager has to say about the fans. The, the fans come and go and they decide, you know, whatever it is. All I can do is work as hard as I can at work. You know, I've never, it's never something that I've overthought. I respect the fans here. I've made that absolutely abundantly clear. Um, the way they've supported me, the team and the, and the club over many years before my time here. 
So there's absolutely no question in that. All I do is work as hard as I can to put a team together to win games and in some, you know, in 20 months here, in some very, very trying circumstances. And, uh, you know, handling that amongst trying to win games, amongst the development, amongst the money, try and save money, that is, it's a big challenge. So all I can do is that and work as hard as I can. And the idea being, I've mentioned it many times, hero and zero, zero to hero, it comes and goes very quickly. You know, I try and stay steadfast to what's in front of me and that's the truth of, of what we're trying to achieve here. And finally, Steve Cooper, Leicester City boss, has given his pre-match press conference ahead of that game at the King Power at the weekend. He has confirmed that new signing, Odson Edward, is available to make his Leicester City debut. He sat out uh, Leicester's 2-2 draw at Crystal Palace last week, but he is available for the trip uh, for Everton's visit at the weekend. Steve Cooper did confirm that they won't have any of the players who've missed last week against Crystal Palace. None of them are available this week for the Everton game. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later.